project so how to work with the sample project how it looks like and then we will see that so after that so maybe next class we will see so what all the documentations it will be involved in any project and what all the documentation as a developer we need to create we will see on this step okay. here let me go to my drive Yeah, what I'm going to do is I will share these files to you. I will share this particular document to you. What you have to do is just you need to place these things in your machine in any drive, D or E drive, anything. And this is you can see this executable file, right? This is your application. Just double click on that application. First, we will go through that application. After that, we will see. So, what are the options? So, we have created in this. Now, what it is asking. It is asking some staff number, right? BP and then username and password. BP and BP. Once you give the username and password, then next it is giving so number one option add new order number one and then click on a go. And then so what is the options? What are the options you are getting again? We have four options. We need to enter some values here. So we need to enter so values. Once you enter the values. And then it is automatically it will calculate the total price and then cost center code if you give and then submit and it is generating a reference number and then click continue now again it is asking the requirement here is you he have the details all these option details in this excel file this file data you need to give it to that application specific application this is our requirement the same way in real time your sap applications looks like okay so we'll have a application you need to automate that application you need to enter the data from excel file or you need to enter the data from database okay in this application just it is generating a reference numbers when you give the data to that just assume that in any application so next we will discuss so that insurance application i will tell you what exactly so it means by that so how to do that now this application is generating just reference number when you give the details for example if you purchase any product through online so they will generate some reference numbers right so for your future purpose for your any communication purpose right so the here also the same thing when you log in logged in with that application it is asking to enter the details once you enter the details all the product details then it is giving reference number so we need to save that reference number that is the requirement here the simple thing so for this already we have a bp release file already we have done it here so this is the bp release file dot bp release file so this release file so it will be available in your machine so what you need to do is we need to import this release file once you import that release file what was the advantage of release file it contains everything as a package right everything it will be there you will have process you will have objects you will have queues if you have schedules everything it will distribute it to the different different places right uh, so respective places same way so what we are going to do is first we will import that release file go to file import browse we go to that drive and then the system this is the release file which we need to import click on that bp release file next and then observe this what it is asking it's already has been published do you want to publish yes next it has been published and finish it now if you observe see this create orders it came to the process and objects order system it came to the object at the same way if you come to the control see this order system q name name also it came it distributed process to process studio object to object studio and then so q to the q right each and everything it has been distributed here now if you want to check so what all the things they have created so in the this particular application just if you double click on that object which one will come first object or process any application if you want to automate we need to go through first we need to create a objects right object and then for that object we need to create actions first if you observe here 
how many things we are implementing here in this application here first you are giving username and password so once you give the username and password see this how many things we are doing spying this one second third three things we need to spy this spy this and then we need to three actions we need three actions here right once you given this again we need to enter data one and then go again two options after that again we need to enter four details here after that click on a submit five actions we are performing after doing that it will generate a reference number right and then we are going to click it click ok so again two actions right so each and everything so we have to so do that if you come to this double click on object studio you can able to understand observe this here what you need to do is once you move into your machine once you import this you need to do the changes in two places once you implement the changes in two places that application will work properly in your machine okay keep this application so try to create the same in new application that follow this and then so take this as a reference and then create a new one for this application new bar now first is launch right first is launch before that application modeler we are going to create in application modeler if you observe see this this is the file path this is the path you need to change first you need to mention where your executable file is available executable file is available you need to mention that path here executable file is available this this is the executable file mention this path this path you need to change this is the first change you need to do remaining everything is same so all the same things so we created a actions elements now first is launch right launch so navigate we have to use we enter the system what we need to do launch option after the launch next is login window right once the application is launched then we need to enter the details right username and password see this username and password before entering the username and password so like when you are launching what we will use we will use a wait option right here also the same option before after launching so we are using wait before going to another entering the details it is checking so whether the application is open or not whether your application is open observe this whether your login window exists or not it means whether before hitting the username and password it is checking the application is opened or not yes if the application is open then so go to the input credential right option we are going to give username and password username and password and after that we need to click login press option right okay what happens if the application is not open within this time period see this five seconds within the five seconds if the application is not open observe this what they have implemented here here we have login screen is not opening this is user defined message this is exception details right your login screen is not opening it will display a message right your login screen is not opening and then it will come out if it opens if the application is launched then it will enter this username and password once you enter the username and password next is we need to select one option to enter right that's why option number one right and then go we need to give one and then we need to click on a go option and input orders again we have four values right we need to give product number cost center code or unit price and then how many numbers it is required if you observe that excel file this file see this so these are the four product details we need to enter the same thing we have here okay how come you are going to enter these details from where you will get these details from excel file excel means excel to collection collection to this means how to do that input and output parameters input and output parameters right observe this input parameters we created for this all the specific each and every field. okay so once you enter these things then what we have to do again we need to submit click so submit order once you submit the order you will get order confirmation you will get order confirmation here also 
when you observe that application it is taking some time when you click on the order confirmation it's taking some time if you observe this here just a minute and give bpbp then give one click go give some value see this when i'm submitting order it's taking some time to display this order confirmation right so that's why we are using wait here observe this we are using wait again wait so reference number exists yes if exist then come to the order reference number here read pick the order reference number and then after that click on it again confirmation button after that again it will go to the so next one next record right if not, if that reference number is not generated observe this wherever you are using wait everywhere we are using exception order confirmation screen is not showing this is the thing so what we have to so implement here now all these things we have done in object studio as a action is just a exit object studio all these actions we need publish already it's published then we have to go for process studio right now when before going to the process studio let me say this one we change something here right we change the path save changes okay close refresh and close it and come to the process studio create orders right now where your data is data is in your file from the file what you need to do we need to pick it to collection that is the first thing from the collection you need to give it to that application right this is the process what we are going to implement now if you come to here the same thing observe this not even able to see it here so it is showing that see this first okay why they are creating launch first we can able to okay let me explain we have a excel right we have a data this data we can give it to collection if you want to do it then what are the things we need to do create instance open workbook and then work get worksheet as a collection after you get the data into the collection after that you can give it to application right after that we can give it to application okay assume that if you are doing in this way to get the data from assume excel to that collection it will take 5 to 10 minutes of time after that it is trying to open that application if your application is not opening then whatever the thing you have done for this 10 minutes is a waste of time right unnecessarily you have picked the data from there to collection because your application is not opening so why we have to do this that's why first always you will open that application first we will cross check whether your application is working fine or not if the application is working fine then we are going to use your create instance open workbook and then get worksheet as collection okay so that's why so here also if you observe see this first we are checking whether your application is launched or not if it is launched then well and good if it is not launched then exception if you remember so when we discussed about page exceptions page for exception bubbling if you create in one place sorry if you have any issues in the page one or page two or page three it is going to capture this in your main page if you have recover and resume right the same way here if you have any errors in your actions in an object studio those actions errors it can able to capture in your process studio by recover and resume the same concept here also see this here in these two pages recover and resume there we implemented exception right that exception whenever error comes it will come to this and then it will end and then it will show you that exception message it will be like that if you have any errors it has to cache this one if the application is not opening if the application is not opening it will come out that's the thing so once so login window order system and then login window system and then after that see this 
create instance show and one more thing when you are using here show and then exist is not mandatory you can use it but the thing is if your excel file is not if your excel software is not licensed it's not updated with product key then it will throw error it will throw error here that show okay show means it will open excel during the runtime if you don't give this also it will process so i will show you okay and one more thing we need to do changes is here the product when you are opening a book you need to give the path right where your excel file is available the same thing here this is csv file we need to browse and then so where you are file is available we we'll go to this path this is the file right so shift right click copy as a path this file path will give it here come to this this is the file path you need to do the changes in these two places that's it then everything will work properly and show open workbook get worksheet as collection and then when you show it has to exit and at the same time say this add to queue instead of using collections we are add, adding to queue you know that so i to you say queue and then when you are using add to queue get next item one by one record when it is processing one by one record we need to know how many records it has to process right see this item id is not equal to null what it mean by that it means the record is available item id is equal to null means the record is not available you can use length of item id equal to 0 also both the ways you can perform and then if it is done all the records all the confirmation if you get it and then it is going to the next item here let me save this say changes now we are going to run this reset and if you run observe what is happening to that so here my excel also it's not enabled with product key you can see that okay good it's enabled with thing let's send a update and remember if your excel is not enabled with your product key or if your excel is not licensed version then it will not allow you the show and exit you can remove here if your excel is not enabled you yeah, remember that now observe this it is picking every data from that file and then it is giving to that application right this is simple thing right simple application so can you guess how many days it's required to finish this particular task from the requirement gathering onwards up to moving to the production each and everything from the starting to end how many days or how many months you required to finish this complete project anyone can you guess how many days it is going to take A any number is fine so i will show you one document so how many days it is going to pick and then keep for example any insurance application for example you need to take your health insurance then what you are going to do personally if you want to take health insurance we will approach any so partner right for example so let's search for some insurance health insurance health insurance plans or companies okay so may so we receive so different different things which is job and job okay let's take this one so many things right so many sites is there now observe this so many plans is there so if you want to so take any plan so just so 
buy now click on that now what all the options we are getting see this you need to select right you need to select so how much you want and then so you need to select each and every option you need to give each and every details and you need to proceed right step by step you have to do it this is the option what you are going to do individually so it will take some so to 20 minutes to half an hour to fill this all these formalities right your personal details your nominee details and then your your health record health checks and then all your bank details and everything okay assume that now you are working in an organization that organization is having some 10,000 employees do you think when they are giving insurance to all the 10,000 employees they are going to type each and everything manually they are going to fill all these things manually like as you are doing individually no right you are not going to they are not going to do this for the 10,000 employees the company will say that so the this is my company so employees details this is my organization details in that excel file or database we have a data here pick the data and then i need all these employees health insurance this is my requirement you can do whatever you want just we need insurance this is the employee details i am going to provide to you employee name and then employee age and then employee dependency all these things they will collect it from us and then they will give it to some third party right third party what they are going to do they have to generate that the health insurance to the each and every employee then how they are going to do that do you think they are going to so fill the details each and every person no right they have to automate they have to automate that application they will have that application like this anything so like this application or whatever it may be they have to automate this right so this is a simple requirement now is it clear for 10,000 members employees details is there in an excel file they need to automate this complete application automatically it has to fill all the 10,000 employees details and it has to each and every person it has to generate the insurance policy number that is the requirement now tell me from the starting to ending starting to ending how many days it is going to take from the requirement gathering onwards and then architect level onwards and then business analyst and then leads and then managers and everyone developers testing production moving to the production how many days it is going to take just so roughly you can give any number like or three months or six months or seven months or one month or 20 days whatever it may be you can give any number that we will discuss more about this so in the next class also i will tell you yeah any project so they are not going to tell so they will give the requirement in the morning they are not going to expect in the evening it will not be like that so many things will be involved